Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. When you have a logarithmic equation where you have one log on each side and they have the same base, it's very easy to solve. These are the easiest kind. This is called the one-to-one -one property of logarithm. What this says is on this side I'm taking the log of one number. On the right side I'm taking the log of another number. If these two expressions are equal to each other that must mean that we took the log of the same number. So in fact you can turn a log equation into not a log equation very quickly by just dropping the logs. That only works when you, only, when you have the same log on both sides. Now, depending on what was in those arguments, you might have a variety of different types of equations. We didn't get a linear equation this time. What kind of equation is this? Quadratic, that's right. So quadratics, we can't just get x by itself. What do we have to do? Zero on one side, very good standard form. So what I'm gonna do is say zero equals four x squared minus two x. Okay, now, now that we know that we have a quadratic equation in standard form, what are our options for solving it? Factoring, quadratic formula, there's a variety, but factoring, if it's, if it's clear how it factors, that's always the fastest, quickest, easiest thing. So, this has what in common to those two terms? 2x, good. Leaving what behind? If, if we divide 4x squared by 2x, we get 2x. If we divide negative 2x by 2x, we get negative 1, right? So we have 2x as a factor and 2x minus 1 as a factor. Why do we do that? So we can use the zero factor idea, which is that each, in order to get a product of zero, one of them had to be zero, or both. Okay, so 2x could be zero, which means x would be zero or 2x minus 1 could be 0, which would mean 2x is 1 or x is 1 half. So we have two potential solutions. What do we have to check in every logarithmic equation? That was positive, the argument, right? Okay, we actually have two arguments here. We want to check that our arguments are positive. The 2x, okay, so if I plug in 0, x equals 0 to 2x, I get 2 times 0, which is 0. Is that allowed? No, it's not positive. 0 is not allowed, so no. Okay, if I plug into 2x the 1 half, if x is 1 half, we get 2 times 1 half, which is 1. Okay, that's great, that works. All right, but I still have to check the 1 half in the 4x squared. I already know 0 didn't work, so we don't have to worry about doing that one again. But for 4x squared, would x equals 1 half work? 4 times 1 half squared is definitely not going to give us 0. It's actually going to give us 1 again, right? So that works okay, too. So the, the only solution is x equals 1 half. It worked and it made both of the arguments positive. We have to disregard the x equals 0. All right, so the two takeaways that I want you to take from this problem are, number one, when you see a log equal to a log, you can drop the logs. So those are the easiest kind of logarithmic equations. And number two, whatever's left behind, whatever equation is left, you have to use whatever technique is required. It could be a linear equation, it could be a quadratic equation, it could be a radical equation. Whatever technique is required from that point is what you have to switch gears and do. And always, of course, check your answers. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.